Hey guys, today's video is going to be a holiday glam tutorial. I'm really excited to be filming a tutorial for you guys. I wanted to go ahead and um, give you guys a tutorial since I have been doing a lot of vlogging lately. Um, with the holidays approaching, I am going to be giving you guys a few videos of just different options that you guys can do as far as looks go for the holidays. Enough with the rambling, let's go ahead and get into the video. If you guys want to see how I created this holiday glam look, then just keep on watching. I really hope that you guys can't hear them mowing the lawn because that's going to be so annoying, but I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can so we can avoid that little situation that we have going over there. But I just put lip balm all over my lips just to hydrate my lips and keep them nice and moist. I did do my brows already. They do take me the longest when I'm getting ready. And if you guys want a separate tutorial on my brows, I can definitely do that. But um, for now, I'm just trying to do this glam holiday look for you guys and just get ready since it is December. I'm feeling the dark tones and the reds so I'm gonna give you guys a really nice look that's gonna be very easy to do so I'm excited I'm very 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 excited yeah let's get into this video I'm gonna start with my eyes and I'm gonna grab just a little bit of concealer and just add the product on my under eyes I mean on my eyelids I don't really like to use primer um, I haven't found a very good eye primer. I feel like concealer, you know, just does the trick for me. So, I stick strictly to my concealer. I feel like wing liner just does the trick for everything. You add a little bit of a wing eyeliner and all of a sudden you have this glamorous look. Um, I'm going to use my Z palette shadows. These are all Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows. The first color that I'm going to be using under my brow bone is Blanc and it's a very pretty sheer kind of like a pinky tone white I love when I describe colors I'm like it's this brown under toned yellow with green pigment <laughs> it's just a very subtle white pinkish tone and this is gonna help my brow bone just pop and bring this look together as you can see it's one of my favorites I'm almost out and I'm gonna need to purchase another one I love Anastasia Beverly Hill colors they're so pigmented love them love them the first brush that I'm going to be using is the Morphe R37 and it's a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to grab another color by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this color is in the color Fawn, another one of my favorites. And I'm going to just dab some product, tap some of that color off and begin to blend. I blend in a circular motion. Don't poke your eye. Just poke my eye like a dumbass. A blend in a circular motion. This is going to apply the product so much more seamlessly so that way when you are starting to pack on those colors, it's easier for you to blend them together. I'm gonna grab another fluffy brush. And this is a clean fluffy brush by Morphe and it's the M519. And as you can see, it's just really round. I'm going to just blend that transition color with my brow bone and just kind of bring it up. This one is in the color Fudge. Same brush, I'm just gonna Dab whatever color I have left and grab some of that shadow and just pack it on to my crease. And just the same way, I'm going to work my way in circular motions and just kind of bring that product up. You don't want to bring it up too much because you still want that transition color to peek through.
The goal is to bring in that shadow in because all you're gonna want is the center right here to peak kind of like a shimmery white tone. So whatever's left over from the product that you have, just kind of grab some of that and just bring it in slightly. You don't want to add too much product in because you don't want it to get black in the center. Um, not the center, in the inner um, tear duct. You just want to give it like a nice little transition as if it's fading from darker to kind of lighter in the um, in your inner tear duct. So we're just going to blend out all of that product. And then grabbing a little bit of concealer with my concealer brush. Um, this one's from Target. It's a Target brand. You can use any concealer because it's just going to be a little bit. You're going to just kind of dab some of that product in there where that white is still peeking through. And just using your fingers, you're going to dab that concealer so that's just gonna help it pop out a little more and then grabbing your preference of shimmer white tone um, whatever you want to do in the center um, we're going to grab Anastasia's eyeshadow in fresh and using a small flat brush the Sigma medium sweeper in E54 and I'm gonna grab some of that product and just apply it where we put the concealer. Uh, grabbing your eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the NYC liquid liner and I'm gonna begin to do my eyeliner. So my eyeliner, I am doing it rather thin. I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to clean it up. grabbing my favorite lashes by Dep Makeup and they are thickness they're so pretty I'm going to be using True Match in W6. We want to shake it. And so I'm just going to dot the foundation all over my skin. Grabbing my Beauty Blender. I'm going to just go in there and blend everything out. I'm gonna be grabbing my uh, Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC in NC25. And I'm gonna go in under my eyes and just 
cover those dark circles and brighten everything up at the same time. Now I'm gonna grab my air spun and my little esponjita. This is the messy part, so I like to like lean forward because I'm always in black. <laughs> so it's hard for me to do my makeup with my top. I don't wanna. Grabbing my Morphe E1 from the Elite Collection and my powder from MAC, the NC30. I'm going to just go in there and set my foundation. And this is going to apply an even better coverage on my skin. Uh, grabbing my Morphe E51 brush with my Chocolate Soleil Deep Bronzer by Too Faced. I'm going to grab some product and contour. I'm gonna cut my bronzer. In my Morphe E20 brush, I'm gonna grab some of that contour, some of that bronzer and begin to contour my nose. give me a cute little tiny nose I don't have a big nose or anything but trust me when I tell you that this contouring makes a huge difference on my face it's crazy can't believe I didn't contour my nose before and I'm gonna just go in there and thin it out the closer you get towards the center the thinner that your nose will appear. So keep that in mind when you're contouring your nose. Let me clean myself. <laughs> and we're ready! Just kidding. That was the part where you guys laughed. I hope you guys laughed. Grabbing my face brush, I'm going to Remove the translucent powder. And we're just going to blend everything. And the colors that I used for my lid, we are going to grab them, starting with the Anastasia Fawn color, and apply it. on our under our waterline a little bit of a harsher line and just kind of bring it down so it can blend you really want that fudge color to pop out so that's why we're using a thinner brush I'm gonna use the benefit high brow so this is for your brow bone I'm gonna use it for my waterline it's not white it's a very it's kind of like a pinky tone so that's what I love about it because it brightens up my eye but it's not too white where it looks harsh it's just right we're gonna grab my mascara now I'm using the Mac up wand up lash this is perfect for your bottom lashes, it grabs every single little eyelash. For my inner tear duct, I'm going to grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow in Metal. And it's a pretty metal, metallic-y gold color. 
kind of looks like a nickel. I'm gonna grab my Luxie brush and just dab some of that gold in the inner tear duct. This color is phenomenal. I love this one because you can like bring it up and just give it a very pretty gold pigmenty look to your to your look. Just gonna dust off some of that color that fell out. I love this highlight by Artist Couture. I also have a coupon code, so I, I'll list all my coupon codes in the description box. So before you guys try to go buy anything, make sure you guys look at my description box so you guys can save some money. I'm gonna spray um, some Slay by Draw Cosmetics onto my Morphe um, M510 brush. So that way when we grab that highlight, it just sticks on our face. Try um, LA Girls color in dark plum. Mm. Kind of looks the same. It has less of a red tint to it though. I haven't tried this color. I don't even know what it looks like. Okay. Because <gasps> it is not the red I picked. Not the color I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be more plum. On my lips. Lip gloss literally makes my lips look huge. I feel like this is why I don't wear dark lip gloss so much. I usually do the light one, but I absolutely love this look. Make sure that you guys leave me a comment if there's anything that you guys want to see on my channel. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial and thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye!